Hello and welcome back to our Harvest of the Week. This week we'll be showcasing some sweetgrass and all the sweetgrass was planted, grown, and harvested at our own native wellness garden. Sweetgrass is one of the four sacred medicines that we use to pray. And always remember while handling it to always have good flops because we don't want to um, taint it and this is a powerful medicine. So before harvesting sweet grass, you always want to make sure that you take some tobacco and put it or give it to back to Mother Earth. And that's to give thanks to the Creator for giving us the sweet grass. Um, after you've harvested it, you want to lay it down flat so that it can dry, sort it into matching lengths, and then bundle it up just like this into nice little bundles that you can make for braids so that way they come out nice and even. Um, if the sweet grass dries up too quickly and it's hard to handle, just soak it in a little bit of water for a few minutes and that way it becomes a little bit more, more manageable to hold. So we always, like you said, like we always wrap the top of it with a string or a ribbon or whatever you may have. Um, and then we have one person hold it. So we can wrap the top with the string or ribbon that you may have. Have another person hold the top for you. So then you can begin to braid it without it scrunching up. So to our people, um, this braid re represents our mind, body, and soul. Um, we also will burn it at the end of the one, at the end of the braid, um, to pray with it and to cleanse our homes and to protect our family. So if you have any questions about what we talked about today, you could reach out to our spiritual advisors, Daniel Preston and David Paulus. Their contact information will be posted below um, this video. So thank you so much for tuning in with us and we'll see you again next time.